Hi everyone, my name is Alina Valiant and welcome to my channel. I would like to thank everyone who commented and emailed. I'm really trying to reply to all of your comments and emails, um, but I do not have as much time at the moment. So I decided to make uh, a video for you guys uh, and try to uh, reply to some of your questions that you asked me last time. Today I wanted to talk about my childhood and my health when I was uh, younger. When I was 12 years old my period started and I remember they were really painful and irregular. Sometimes I would have them every 55 days um, and I remember my sister um, had them every 28 days and I always thought why my periods weren't that regular and why were they so painful all the time. I remember there were 58 days in my average um, period cycle. My mom would always say that I had the problem because I wouldn't wear warm clothes. Well, when I was younger I was a very rebellious kid and in winter I would never wear warm clothes um, and I, will, I would always get sick and also I tried to lose a lot of weight when I was 13, 14 because I remember that I hated my body and I wanted to lose a lot of weight, I wouldn't eat anything and my mom would always say that I had the problem because of those two things I wouldn't wear warm clothes and I wouldn't eat um, properly I was on the diet half of my teenagehood can I say teenagehood? Adolescence the <laughs> okay. So when I was a teenager, my grandfather was the only person who was working in our family and he loved us kids and he would ring us every day and ask us what we wanted and of course we wanted some chocolate, some fizzy drink. At that time I had no idea that um, chocolate was bad for me. For dinner for example, I would have two Kit Kat bars and two liters of Fanta. I noticed that my kidneys would hurt a lot, but I had no idea that um, it was because I was drinking uh, two liters of Fanta every day. So when I was 15 years old, I remember I got my first computer, my first laptop. I was very happy, I had no idea what I was going to do with it. So I started learning English. I started reading a lot of articles. And I found out about fizzy drinks being bad and uh, all these Kit Kat bars and Snickers and Mars and Bounty bars that I used to eat were bad as well for me. So I told my family and they started laughing at me. My grandfather never stopped bringing us uh, fizzy drinks or um, chocolate bars. I remember I was feeling really lonely and I didn't know what to do. When I got married, I gained 20 kilos in a year or two. I think it's one and a half years, I gained 20 kilos. So I went from 50 kilos to 70 kilos. I felt horrible. My legs wouldn't stop hurting. I had so many health issues. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to lose weight. And if you have polycystic ovarian syndrome, you probably already know how difficult it is for us to lose weight. My husband was really worried about me. He started researching on Google and Google diagnosed me with polycystic ovarian syndrome. So we started reading lots of articles about uh, polycystic ovarian syndrome and um, every article after reading each article i started putting all these pieces in my head together i was really worried when one time i didn't have my periods for five months we actually thought i was pregnant and we did a pregnancy test but it was negative so my husband decided to take me to my doctor the doctor said that because i had lots of um, hairs all over my body and they were really thick um, hairs from hormonal imbalance and because I had irregular periods these were symptoms of um, polycystic ovarian syndrome the doctor even said that I might never have kids in my life the doctor gave me some pills and she also said that I need to take some metformin metformin is for people who have um, insulin resistance I started taking metformin and the pills that um, the doctor gave me and I remember every time I would take the pill and metformin together my face would turn pale. I 
almost wanted to faint every single time I would take these two things. And I thought that was going to be my life, me taking uh, these pills and uh, um, feeling so horrible all the time. Metformin did help me to lose some weight. I lost about three or four kilos in six months. So it was a good kickstarter. Every time I would take metformin, I would feel nauseous, I would want to throw up. So I didn't want to do it anymore. So I stopped taking metformin and guess what? I gained two kilos. Um, so I started researching more and reading more articles. People were saying that the best way to manage polycystic ovarian syndrome is by eating healthy. I've never heard this uh, idea of eating healthy before. Uh, I heard my mom saying that we need to eat lots of veggies and that was pretty much it. But I never thought that all these other things that I was eating um, were unhealthy. I figured that the fizzy drinks and chocolate bars were unhealthy, but um, I had no idea that the bread that I was eating was not healthy for me and um, the um, butter that I was eating was not healthy for me and deep fried stuff that I loved was really unhealthy for me as well. So I started reading more and more articles and I found out so much more about the food that we put in our body. So we stopped eating meat, we stopped uh, consuming any dairy products and we pretty much became vegetarian and the only thing that we eat and all products that we eat is eggs. I started collecting data about my periods. Remember previously I said that there are um, 58 days in my average period cycle. Well now there are 39 days in my average period cycle. I figured uh, a few things about my periods. So my periods are late if I don't exercise and I'm not active. So they will be late. They will be late if I eat really unhealthy. I eat too much or too little if I get sick and if I travel and a change of season so when we go from um, autumn to winter they're really late and when we go from summer to autumn they're really late as well for a few months I'll be trying to minimize these uh, contributing factors and see if uh, they have uh, any effect on my periods and um, I will let you know the results, so stay tuned for that. I promised last time that I would tell you um, some exciting news for today. So yes, I will do it now. We're going to Armenia. We bought the tickets. My husband and I are really happy. We cannot wait. We're really looking forward to uh, going to Armenia. Um, I will be filming from Armenia, so if you're interested, uh, you can subscribe to my channel. Uh, I'll be posting videos every Friday, so I will see you next Friday. Thank you very much and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!